This is really astonishing. Elderly in Japan are wearing exoskeletons in order to continue working into their old age. Elias Marat reports The Mind Unleashed. People in Japan are strapping on exoskeletons to meet the physical demands of their jobs. Now, okay, you may uh, have skeletal help, but, you know, if you're lifting heavy things, it does not do great things for your veins, for your varicose veins. Now, while powered exoskeletons may seem like something out of the movie Alien, Avatar, Elysium, and how uh, could we forget Iron Man, of course, the concept, concept increasingly found favor in various applications is ranging from battlefield to assembly line and even to restore function to paralyzed people's bodies. But now, even elderly citizens of Japan are reportedly uh, using this potential step into powering powered exoskeletons so that they can continue laboring into their old age and stall retirement for as long as possible, according to new scientists. To put it into perspective how dystopian that prospect is, consider that Japan has one of the largest populations over the age of 65 out of any country, comprising about 26% of the total population as per the 2015 census data. Japan has both the world's highest life expectancy and also the lowest birth rate. And as Japan's workforce continues to decline, the right-wing government of Shinzo Abe has sought to grapple with labor shortages and increased public spending on the senior citizen population by raising the retirement age, of course, from 60 to anywhere between 65 and 71. And this is not only Japan that's doing this, I think most European countries are doing this as well. But now Jap Japanese tech companies hope to use these exoskeleton suits to allow them to continue their labor well into their advanced age, with some suits costing only $1,300. They will allow people to lift up to, up to 55 pounds, and the suit can be charged through a hand pump that fills the muscles, quote unquote, with their pressurized air. A NOFIS spokesperson, Daigo Orihara, said, One client is a family-owned company which makes and sells pickled radish and uses heavy weights in the process of production. The father is in his 70s and was supposed to retire, but is still working with our muscle suit. Automotive giant Toyota has also poured funds into its motorized exoskeleton research division in part uh, out of uh, hopes to support the aging workforce. Panasonic as well created the popular Autone Model Y that costs 5,500 a suit and it adds 22 pounds of lifting force to wearers. So no doubt many senior citizens with their faltering, fragile bodies, uh, you know, with their knees aching, with their uh, back aches, with their, with their uh, you know, the middle of their backs, would prefer a bit of mechanical assistance to allow them to lift heavy loads and physically function as they did when they were younger. But Japan also has a horrible reputation for working its people to the point of utter exhaustion, if not a total mental breakdown, with a shrinking population that only continues to rapidly age, powered exoskeletons may be the only means by which industry can continue squeezing the last bit of labor from the Japanese people. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.